Hi there, folks. My name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist over at the Bathurst Clark Resource Library. In some of my previous videos all about Scratch, we talked about the basics of coding, some concepts such as loops, conditional statements, and how to build your code. Well, today, we're going to bring that all together. Welcome to the Scratch Coding Challenge. Okay, and how these Scratch challenges are going to work is pretty simple. Step one, I will introduce a problem for you all. Step two, I will show you the blocks you'll need to solve it. And step three, you're going to use that fantastic brain matter up there to put the code together and solve the problem I presented to you. Okay, folks, are you ready for challenge number one? Here we go. And scratch challenge number one is the efficient artist. For this challenge, you need to build three sets of code. Each set of code will draw a different shape. So I want you all to create codes that will draw a rectangle, a square, and a triangle in as few blocks as possible. All right, now let's take a look at the code blocks we'll be using today. So for this challenge, you'll need, of course, the when the start flag is clicked, a move block, the turn block, from the pen set of tools, the erase all and pen down. And finally, a loop block will be using the repeat. All right, folks, good luck coding. And I'll be back in just a few moments with the answer. And welcome back, intrepid coders. Did you figure it out? Was it hard? Was it easy? Not a problem, I'm here. And it's time to see the answer. So you can see right here, three sets of code. Take a look at the blocks I used and how I arranged it. So when I click on the start flag on the first one, he makes a square. When I use the second set of code, he makes a rectangle. And for the third one, he makes a triangle. There you go. Okay, folks, till the next time. Happy coding, and bye-bye.